All right, what's up with the dog, boy, Rocket Chop? You see, we coming back with another one, man. Got the RPD right here. And if y'all ain't tried this gun out, you slipping. This, this probably, everybody talking about the stoner. I feel like this gun a little bit better than the stoner. As you can see right there, man, getting busy. You know, uh, you know, once you get all the attachments for it, it feel a lot better. You know, you got to put that grip on it that make you run a little faster. All that type of shit. Check that out. Though. So, you want to snipe me? So, I had to pull my sniper out. And I remember, man, I read my comments. And, uh, brother, I was in the comments last time. He said, man, can you give me some sniper gameplay? So, here you go. Got some sniper gameplay for you. And, I, you know, I had to start it off. I don't never get no scopes. So, I have to give y'all some no scopes. But, uh, I'm over here just babbling on. But, uh, if some of y'all clicked on the video that's not subscribers, y'all know. Y'all see from the title. You want to know how to get easier lobbies. And uh, I'm going to tell you, man, I've been playing Call of Duty for over 10 years now. And this, I, I got tips, and I got one tip in particular that's been working for me since Call of Duty first came out. Because I got a lot of hours logged. I just put it to you like this, and I'm only going to say one game. And I've been playing Call of Duty for 10 years. Back in Modern Warfare 2, I had over 250,000 kills. Over. That was just, I, that's when we stopped counting. So, just know I've been doing this Call of Duty shit for a while, but uh, we just get right into it. First things first, since I do, you know, with this Call of Duty, I do have a a, a reverse boosted account. You know, um, I was able to actually check it out and go and look and see how bad, you know, is the skill-based matchmaking that bad in every, you know, every lobby. You know what I'm saying? Where it comes down to like round war, combined arms, or six versus six. You know what I'm saying? Even to the face-off. You know what I'm saying? The little three versus three. And I noticed that in combined arms, the 12 versus 12, the, the uh, skill-based matchmaking, it does. It's in there. Don't get, it, don't get me wrong. It's in there, but it's not as bad as the other game modes. And all the reason why I can say that is because I've actually been able to end up in a lobby with my reverse boots of the count. My reverse boots of the count has a .1 KD. Something stupid. You know what I'm saying? So I really shouldn't even be in that that lobby technically with them but i'm in that lobby so you know it is what it is so combined orange 12 v 12. if you want to get easier lobbies go play that game mode and uh yeah you should get easier lobbies you know what i'm saying and then um number two if you if you have noticed and i don't know if you haven't even tried it out yet but if you play in a party with more i say at least minimum three people three to four people in the 6 vs 6 mode, and then obviously in the 12 vs 12 mode, which I like to play, I think a full party, six, six full, a six man team full party, you are gonna get easier lobbies, just because obviously you got communication with each other, you know what I'm saying, and then usually, you know, the, just with the communication by itself, the lobby should be easy, you know what I'm saying, you should get more kill streaks, you got people that's actually watching your back, that's gonna make the lobby easier, and then with that, if you take the lowest person with the the person in your your party with the lowest rank and make him host the lobby, that's gonna make you get an easier lobby too. So that's been working for years. Still works on this Call of Duty. That's almost kind of like reverse boosting a little bit, but not really. Not not how these dudes doing right now. And then uh, I want to get to this. Obviously, play the most popular game modes so you get a more spread out pace of. You know who you gonna play, and I'm gonna just tell you the popular game modes in order that I know of, and I believe it's still the same today. And number one is always gonna be TDM. TDM is the number one game mode. That's when people come on here just to shoot their gun and get the kills. You know what I'm saying? TDM has always been number one. I still don't understand why they don't, you know, prioritize around TDM. But I don't know. That's another story for another day. And then uh, they got domination. We know that six versus six domination. I don't think that's. I think that's actually moved down. So I don't know if that's number two still. I know S and D is still up there. And then uh, they got the new ground war, the 12 v 12. That's up there. Then you got free flow. And then the rest of the game modes after that. But in that order, if you play those game modes, you should have a bigger pool of people to come across a bigger pool of noobs. You know what I'm saying? Because if you just plan uh, these are small, like, what is it, like, Capture the Flag? I don't even know if they got Capture the Flag on there. What's, what's another game mode they got? I don't know, man. I just, I'll stick to my game modes, and I'll stick with those just because 
from Call of Duty history. I know if you go to those smaller pool of, of players and you can't really, you know what I'm saying, get noobs, it's because it's a smaller pool of players. No, it's not that many people in there playing. You know, and then uh, if you playing solo and you want to get some some cool lobbies and, and some some you know a breath of fresh air. That new face off 3v3 is actually pretty good. I'm gonna bring some uh, some gameplay of that. Look at that, man. They just shoot your shit down hella quick. So I have to come back with the LMG. The RPD is nasty, man. I'll tell you again, the RPD is nasty. And, uh, but yeah, face off. So face off, like I was saying, face off, go play that. If you're playing solo, go play face off. And you gotta get a nice little run and gun on. I like that one because it's, it's I don't think it's kill streaks in there. So it's, you know, it's. It ain't too bad. And then uh, this last and final tip, and this tip then worked for me since every Call of Duty, and I, I learned it in back in World at War. You know, I was a video game tester back at Sony, so that's how I know that this tip works 100%, and it still does to this day. And I think that there's a, you know, there's psychology behind why it works. Let me break that down too. So basically, if you really want easy lobbies, and I'll say in almost any game mode, get up in the morning. It don't matter where you stay at, as long as you get lobbies locally to where you stay. As long, it don't matter where you stay at. Get up in the morning and play between the hours of 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. I guarantee you, I'd say about seven out of your ten lobbies would be easier than they would be if you were doing other lobbies. You know what I'm saying? Back when you just play like in, in the middle of the day and in the middle of the day is a good time to play too do not play at night time between the times about 10 a, a 10 p.m to about 3 p.m that's when the trials on they still in their parties you know what i'm saying and you just don't have a bad time playing against them but if you play at 6 a.m to 9 a.m i guarantee you're gonna get a good lobby it's, it's been that way. I don't know why since World at War, Modern Warfare 2 has always worked for me. And here's the psychology behind it. At 6 a.m. to 9 p.m., I already told you people playing, the, the, especially the trials, they plan from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. in the morning. And even if they continue playing, they won't be able to be in a party. So you're not even going to really come across that many parties. Full parties, small parties, none of that. Between the, the times of 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. I mean, 9 a.m., not 9 p.m. Because people just, for some reason, people don't really party up in the morning. I know I'm like that. In the morning, I hop up. If I do play the game that early in the morning, I'm playing bolo. You know what I'm saying? If I see somebody else on, I may party up with one other person. But for the most part, that's just the way it is. So that's the way it's always been. I've been able to get easier lobbies, easier gameplays. But yeah, man, it's been your boy. Tap the like button. Peace.